is this is your jacket from the 99 Ryder Cup. And I want people to really take in the names on this on this jacket. I mean, this is like this is so impressive to be a part of this team. Uh, I mean, Tiger Woods is on there. You've got Phil Mickelson. Uh, you're, you're you're on there. Jim Furyk, uh, David Duvall. I mean, like these are some in, incredible golf names. Payne Stewart, uh, incredible golf names on there. I think that's 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 such a cool item and uh, really a good example of like you know what you were saying about being a part of a team like that, like that's so, that's so impressive. I, I think. Right. And that item is really unique. That was Ben, Ben and Julie Crenshaw's idea. You know, that's, that wasn't the PGA of America. That was our captain. Um, that's cool. Came up with that. And that's, that's a really special item. Yeah. That uh, you just, yeah, I've never, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. And this is, this is the front of it. That's the, with the Ryder cup logo. Right. That's yeah. Really neat. Yeah. For the front. From the front, yeah, it's a neat right. It's a nice rain jacket with the Ryder Cup logo. From the back, you go, yeah, that's that's pretty. That's a unique piece. And so, yeah. the the members of the team are the ones that got those. Yes, that was it. Yes, very cool. Well, that was just the um. That was you guys. You just said the team captain like created that. That wasn't. That's not even something that's usually done. The, I ha not that I'm aware of. It wasn't done the other time I played, and I'm not aware. I. I don't think that was done anywhere else. That's pretty special. Right. Yeah, it is. Wow. It is. And again, that's not something I'm going to go out. If it starts raining, I go, gee, I'll go put that on and walk around. Yeah, right. And no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. You're not going to use it for what it's made for, but. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> no, that's a really amazing. That all those names are really impressive, especially to be all together. And was, I mean, are all the guys, did you guys stay in touch? You guys like friends Did that really like make a camaraderie between all of you? I mean. Yes. I mean, yeah, it is. Every, every time, any, the two teams I've been on, even guys I wouldn't say, oh, we, you know, we're close friends. There's, it's a common bond that just never goes away. Yeah. Obviously some guys on the team, we're, we're all better friends with some than others, but there's a bond between everybody that never goes away. I just wanted to ask about playing with Tiger. I mean, I, I mean, obviously everyone in the golf world knows about Tiger Woods. What was he like? Twenty five at that time. I mean, he was pretty young. Let's see, what, that, what, what was that? Was ninety nine? So he yeah. was, was twenty two years ago. Yeah, twenty four, twenty five. Yeah. Um, what was that like? That was great. I mean, that's at the time. That's when he was way better than everybody else in the world. <laughs> And we had a little, he wanted to play with somebody who would talk, you know, would talk, you know, would, would have, could have a conversation with him during the round. Um, and he and I, I, I got, I met him when he was maybe 21. He played at my brother's club in Santa Barbara. He was dating a girl who went to UC Santa Barbara at the time. And he would come to Santa Barbara and hang out and play at my brother's club. And that's how I met him. Hmm. So we, we had a little bit of a relationship beforehand anyway. And, you know, we were, we were comfortable playing together. It just seems like when you mention the word, you know, competitor, he just, he's one of the names that comes in your mind. I mean, he's just like such an intense guy. Was he like that outside of the, outside of the golf day? I mean, was he, was he just always on or was it, was he kind of just there for the, for the, for the 18 holes and that was it? No, he was always, he was really into the whole competition. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it was, it meant every bit as much to him as it did anybody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you you think somebody who was that good and had so much individual success may not care about a team event, and not true. Mm. <laughs> he he doesn't ever want to lose anything. He, he took. <laughs> now, what did you teach him? Did you? I'm sure you taught him something, Steve. Oh yeah, I'm sure I did. <laughs> no, it's funny when I, it's when I first met him, we were playing. He, it's funny you say that. He was he was very curious because when I first met him. I was coming back from that really bad car accident. He was just starting out and he, I, he was amazing to watch because not only me, but everybody, anybody who had been on tour for a while, if they had time, he would ask questions. Yeah. He didn't think he knew where he knew he didn't know everything. He would ask, he was really curious, which was neat to see because not mm -hmm. everybody like that. And usually the ones with a lot of talent that are curious really go a long way. Mm. 
Yeah, Very you got to cool. keep curious. I mean, if you act like you know everything, then you're going to hit a brick wall, right? You're not going to ever expand. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. Yeah, you know, I got some experience with that when I was playing my late 40s. And plus playing, it was nationwide tour, tour at the time, now Corn Ferry. It's just trying to stay sharp till I was turning till I turned fifty, and usually playing with kids that are twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, and you could tell some of them were curious, and some of them thought they knew everything there was to know. Mm. Kind of fun. To, the ones that were curious would all you know call me and say, "Grandpa, let's go play a practice round." You know, I said, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I enjoy. I, I really did enjoy it. I feel like if you have like this curiosity, I mean, I feel like this goes for life too, not just golf. Like if you have a curiosity about something and you keep diving deeper into it, like number one, you're, you're going to get better by default just because you're going to know more about the game or more about the situation that you're in. But it also just, it, it keeps you, it just keeps you connected to what you're doing. It keeps, right. it, you know, that's, I feel right. like that's the number one rule of even life is just like, stay mm -hmm. curious. Like you can't, yeah. If you're not learning, then you're not really living. Yeah, if you if you have a day you don't learn anything, you're probably dead. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Not playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, do you do you watch golf now? I mean, are you still to paying attention to the game? Still, still watching it regularly, or you check out a bit? Or? No, I wa I make a point to watch the Masters and the British Open. Okay. Uh, other than that, I flip around between PGA Tour, Senior Tour, and, and Ladies Tour. I mm -hmm. like them. All. I don't. I don't follow any of them religiously, mm -hmm. but the game on each tour is played a little bit differently, and it's and it's fun. It's I, I enjoy watching it. Is there a player out right now that you're that you're like interested in? You like? You're a fan of? Um, the two guys I kind of follow the most are Colin Morikawa and Xander Shoffley. Um, okay. you know, other than I generally, I don't turn in, I don't really watch to see players, um, mm -hmm. uh, like the competition or if it's a certain tournament mm. you know, or if a friend of mine's leading a tournament on the, on the champions tour, I'll turn in. Right. <laughs> but no, I, 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 it's more about the competition than anything else. Mm 